Anderson? Oh, 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 Mr. Dundee, I was just uh, removing some of the dust. We were just removing some of the dust. Is that what you're doing at 4.15 and at 4 o'clock? Well, well, sir, it doesn't matter what time that clock says. Our Santa's supposed to be back from his dinner break at 4 sharp. I'm sure Mr. Corwin just got tied up. More like tying one on would be my guess. Merry Christmas. Bruno, may I have another one, please? And unless I see some more cash, Mr. Corwin. Boss's orders. As you may have noticed, I am currently with a job, albeit a short-lived one. So although I don't have any cash with me at this moment... Cash only. That's the rule. Why is it kids like that have to go without Santa? Pardon? The two kids out there. No Santa Claus for them tonight. Not in this neighborhood. Well, you got the suit on, mister. Why don't you go out and give them a couple minutes? Because whatever they ask for, they won't be getting. I would simply be a very cruel joke. Bruno, are you sure? Sorry. Hey, Mr. C. should set you up again? No. Thank you, Bruno. I think I should get back to work. It's been sold. I guess one of the part-time sales clerks didn't see the hold tag, Mr. Dundee. This is outrageous. That was a custom-designed coat. Well, I don't know who could have done it, but I will find out, I promise you. And, and first thing, day after Christmas, I'll make sure that there is a replacement. There is no replacement. It is one of a kind. And my wife is expecting it under our tree tomorrow morning. I'm sorry, Mr. Dundee. Being sorry I... doesn't help me. I'll, I'll check the sales receipts. Uh, well, I like it. Look, I want you and whoever sold that coat to be in my office tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Mr. Dundee, tomorrow's Christmas. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Not for you, it isn't. Mommy, I think something's wrong with Santa Claus. <laughs> I think Santa's wasted. Santa! Oh, oh, oh. Is everybody all right? Hmm? Everybody fine? No harm done? Okay, now how about some free ice cream downstairs, huh? Right now, okay. I am so sorry, Mr. Dundee. You've been drinking. I am... Well, yes, sir, during my break, I did stop to refresh I want you out of my store, now. You are absolutely right, sir. I should not have been drinking, and I apologize. I hope you're satisfied disappointing one of those little boys and girls. Oh, they're not going to be disappointed, Mr. Dundee. Not these kids. Tomorrow morning, they'll find everything they could possibly want under a big, beautiful Christmas tree, doesn't doesn't really matter if they talk to a man in a red suit tonight or not. Kids who are going to be disappointed aren't in this store. They're out there. The kids in this neighborhood and neighborhoods like it all around the world. 
to them, tomorrow isn't Christmas. It's just another day to survive. Let's go. Merry Christmas, Mr. Bundy. Let's go. I wish to God I had something to give you. Say Merry Christmas, children. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Kids! Kids! Uh, kids! <laughs> I have present for you! <laughs> kids! Present, I have present for you! Damn. Merry Christmas, Mr. Dundee. Good night. Thank you. 
six, speaking for the New England Merchants Association, says early indications are that Christmas sales this year may very well head to five-year high. Particularly impressive were sales figures for preschool education. to get me up for work on time. Will the clock let you do? Merry Christmas. Come on up here, Missy. Now, what'll be your pleasure this Christmas? Well, what I'd really like is a new pair of glasses. Ones that make me look better than these make me look. Oh, baby, I don't know that he's going to have a pair of glasses for you. I mean... Oh. Try these. I mean, Mr. Corwin. So, oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> Yo, Henry. We're almost out of eggnog. I mean, people are guzzling it like it's going out of style. Can't have a proper Christmas party without plenty of eggnog. <laughs> oh! oh. It's hot. It's hot. Be careful. Thanks a lot, Henry. I mean, thanks, Santa. <laughs> Ah, oh, there. Oh, wow, Santa Claus! Whoa, 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 wait. Don't forget your glove. Look at him and everything. Thanks, Santa. Oh, Merry Christmas. Wow. Hey, Mr. Dodson, come on, get in. What'll it be for you? Oh, you got nothing for me in a funny bag. Oh, well. Oh, well, I guess then this beautiful pipe will just have to go to somebody else. You know, I saw a pipe like that when I was in the Navy. Must have been 40 years ago. Always regretted not having bars. Well, sir, it is yours now. Merry Christmas, Mr. Dawson. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Corwin. Mr. Dundee. What's going on here, Corwin? Christmas. What's going on here is Christmas. The best Christmas ever. Have some eggnog and stay a while. I don't want any eggnog. I want to know where you got all this merchandise you've been handing out. This is merchandise. These are presents. Christmas presents. Well, where did these Christmas presents come from? From this bag. Yeah. Yeah. Look, all right, I don't understand it either. But if I take a minute to think about it, I'm afraid I'm going to stop believing it's really happening. So while it's putting out, so am I. I think I have a pretty good idea where all this merchandise came from. You're in trouble, Corwin. You're in real trouble. A train set? Where's their phone? I need a phone. You can use mine. Impressive bunch of presents, Mr. Corwin, especially in this neighborhood. 
Would you care to tell us how you got him? There's only one place he could have gotten them, my store. He's been employed there as our Santa for the past three weeks. He must have been lifting this stuff from the very first day. You know, it would be pretty tough for one man to make off with all of this stuff by himself. So he had help. Doesn't surprise me in the least. How about letting him answer my question? Where did they all come from? From this bag. Yeah, from this bag. And from dozens of other bags he has hidden all over the place. Filled with merchandise from my store. <laughs> uh, I don't think there are very many bags like this around, Mr. Dundee. <laughs> the fact remains that this man has been giving away gifts he couldn't possibly afford. He couldn't afford this, let alone all this other stuff. Do you have any proof that these things are yours to give? Oh, well, uh, no, I'm sorry, no, I don't. Oh, under these circumstances, I'm afraid I'm going to have to collect all of these possessions in question and hold them and hold you until we can sort this thing out. This is going to take a hell of a lot of backup. Would you come with me, please? It's a receipt from Dundee's department store. There's one right there for a left-handed baseball glove. Here's another one for a new toga shirt. This can't be. Yes, it can. Yes, it can, because it's Christmas. <laughs> Dundee, shouldn't you be getting home? I don't know how you pulled this off, Corwin, but I'm going to find out. These gifts didn't come from your store. We both know that. Then where? Never question miracles. That's the coat. That's my wife's coat. It's something for you. Vicky Metal. Roger Maris. Are these autographs real? I bet they are. These are all the 61 Yankees. Every year. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Dandy. Oh. 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 